Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the HRC Forward FD435 20x20mm stack. This video is going to be pretty short since I've already reviewed the bigger brother of the stack, the FD445, and also featured it in the build video of the HRC Aero 3. These two stacks are almost identical, and the only difference between these two versions is the ampere rating of the 4-in-1 BLA32 ESC, so along with the FD435 you're getting a 35 ampere ESC, and with the FD445 you're getting a 45 ampere ESC. The main reason for me posting this video is actually the price of this new stack, as it is currently priced at $63 for the version which is bundled with the HLRC Ford Mini VTX, and I think that it will provide you with an exceptional value for money, especially if you compare it to the FD445 stack, which costs $100, and I think for this build, for example, a 45 ampere 4-in-1 ESC is an overkill, and you can definitely settle for the 35 ampere version. As for the new product itself, the FD435 stack is available in two versions, so you can get it with or without the HRC Ford Mini VTX, which I've previously reviewed, and if you'd like to know more about this video transmitter, you can check out my review over here. In terms of packaging, inside the box of the version which is not bundled with the Ford Mini VTX, you can find some stickers, a harness for connecting the 4-in-1 ESC and the flight controller, an XT30 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to 7 cm long, 18 gauge battery leads, a 470 microfarad 25 volts capacitor, a small card that shows the wiring diagram, a bag with M2 spacers and screws, the 4-in-1 ESC, and the flight controller. This mini 20x20mm F4 flight controller came pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.5, it has 5 free UART ports, and an inverted S-Bus pad, all the soldering pads are located on its top side, and considering its size, they are pretty big and easy to work with. On its bottom side, you can find an 8 pins connector for connecting it to a 4-in-1 ESC, and there are no alternative pads, so make sure not to break this connector. The weight of the flight controller is 4.3 grams, and its outer dimensions are 24.9 by 25.4 by 7.1 millimeters. The second component in the stack is the 35 ampere BLA32 4-in-1 ESC that can hold a current of 40 amperes for 10 seconds. The soldering pads for the battery are pretty big and can be found both on the top side of the 4-in-1 ESC and on its bottom. The motor pads, however, are pretty small and it is designed like that, probably in order to save some space. In addition, the 4-in-1 ESC supports ESC telemetry and features a built-in current sensor. It's using 20 by 20 mm M2 mounting holes. It weighs 6.9 grams and its outer dimensions are 31.7 by 32.3 by 5.9 mm. Both boards can be powered directly with up to 6S like a batteries, so you can definitely use this stack on a 3-inch 6S build like the Aero 3. And you can also use it for a lightweight 5-inch 4S build, as long as you're not using crazy power-hungry motors. After assembling the stack without the VTX, it's going to look like that. Its total height from bottom to top is about 14 millimeters. It weighs 15.3 grams, and after adding the capacitor and the XT30 battery connector, its total weight is 19.1 grams. So overall, I think that this stack will provide you with a very good value for your money, and since I have a very good experience with the FD445 stack, I can definitely recommend it. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos! And goodbye.